Hey, Deshaun, how are you? How you doing? I'm good. What do you think of the extra game that the league added to your schedule uh, this year? Uh, as a player who's been doing this for a long time, uh, how do you think they balanced safety and uh, a television guy? Um, you know, I, I, honestly, I've been around this business long enough to understand what the extra game means from a financial perspective. So uh, when you look at it from that aspect, I mean, you get it. But as a player, man, from a selfish perspective, for, for me and my peers, man, it's just that extra game is tough. Obviously, man, we go out there each game and lay it on the line, man. 16 games is a lot of wear and tear on the body. So that extra game is definitely um, – it's, it's, it's nothing that people want to hang their heads on, man. But obviously um, – Guys are getting paid handsomely, man. You just got to go out there and do your job. But, I mean, me just being a guy year 10 is, is definitely a lot of strain on the body. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's nothing I can do about it. Can't complain about it, man. It's just an extra game that you just got to go out there and put it on tape. Dan Weider. Deshaun, I know you wanted to be back here after last season. When you found out that Sean was going to be the coordinator, what was your uh, initial reaction and, and what do you see in Sean as a coordinator? Oh, man, I was happy. I think that that's one of the things, man. I, Sean was one of the guys who I gravitated towards uh, when I first got here. Um, you know, when I signed late in the process after the draft last year, man, Sean was a guy who took me on his wing. I was doing extra Zoom meetings with him from the time that I signed to all the way through training camp, man, just trying to get a grasp on the defense. And uh, me and his relationship developed uh, last year, and, and I couldn't be more happier for a guy like Sean because you, you, you see a guy like that and you understand that he knows the game of football, man, and he just needed that opportunity. And I always said, man, I, I spoke on it last year, man, I think that Sean is one of, the, one of the brighter young minds in the game. So to have him as my defensive coordinator, I definitely understand what he can bring to the table, man, and with the talent that he got on defense, man, it's just going to be – it's going to be a beautiful thing to see. So I couldn't be more happier, man, and Sean. Uh, me and Sean, our relationship definitely helped play a part in that, man, and, you know, I couldn't be more happy for a guy like that. As, as a guy who's played for a number of coordinators in a number of different places, what do you value most in a, a play caller on defense? You know, a guy who really just uh, a guy who's gonna let playmakers make plays, and that's the end. Of, that's one of the things he's not gonna handicap uh, um, nobody on defense. I think that with a guy like Sean, you see that everybody gonna be able to make plays from the safeties to the corners to the linebackers to the D line. And when you have a defense that's rich in talent like the Chicago Bears defense, man, where you got guys capable of changing the game on every level, having a guy like Sean is huge because you have a guy who can truly put every guy in position to make a game changing play at some point in the game. So um, having him doing calling the plays and being at the being at the helm and it's going to be an awesome opportunity for everybody in the defense so I think everybody's excited man once we heard that Sean was going to get that opportunity and, and, and it's starting to show we get our hands on a lot of uh, the footballs out there man and defense is making plays flying around having fun man and it's just it's a fun time to be a Chicago Bear right now. <laughs> Mark Potash. Hey, Deshaun, uh, you know, last year you had a very clear view of the entire defense, not just your position. So I think you're a good guy to ask this question. Uh, just what do you consider the missing elements that kind of took some of the bite out of this defense from before you got here, of course? And then do you, are the things you already see from Sean Desai, even in the early going, that, that you can see him making a difference in kind of bringing that back? You know, I think that uh, last year we had a definitely, we had some hurdles that we had to come over. We started hot and it was just an up and down year, obviously. But the beautiful thing about this league is that, uh, you know, it's a it, it, it's a right now kind of league. So, you know, last year doesn't matter anymore. I think that we have the guys in the room to make things happen, man. And the thing with Sean is right now, like I said, I just spoke on it, is that he's putting guys in position to make plays, man. And, and, and that's one of the things right now where uh, we're off to a high start. Obviously, the offense definitely got some new toys and new tools over there, man. So that challenge us, man. And so Sean is definitely having his work cut out for him. So for, for us to be able to have the success that we've been having, man, and you know, so many guys wasn't here. So for us to jail the way we have, it's just a testament of what Sean is doing right now. So many guys has been doing their own thing. And for us to get back, you know, yesterday was really our first day being back collectively as a group, man, and all of the starters together. So uh, for us to be out there performing the way we is, man, it's just scary because now once we get into training camp and we get that, that camaraderie and we jail and everybody's on the same page, I think that is going to be a scary thing to see. Man, I think that the Chicago Bears will be the type of defense that, you know, everybody's accustomed to seeing the Bears be.